What's up, Hello, everyone? everyone and oh. Welcome to the Slope Podcast. The podcast about Sakamichi Series Idols. Uh, those, what, what is it? Yoshimoto Zaka. Where they have news, actually, uh-huh. this week. Kiyaki Zaka, Kiyaki Zaka. No, Zaka. I'm boy with Jimmy and Josh. What's hey. going on, everybody? Hello. Hello. What's up? I'm so tired. <laughs> yes. Um, From what, Jimmy? It's a very eventful weekend for us, dude. Uh, I did deadlifts. Hmm, how fun. Yeah. Anyways, uh, no, j- but real talk, uh, it was East Meets West Music Festival this past weekend, so the three of us linked up Saturday, mm-hmm. right? We, we shot some videos with the... Uh, uh, to the groups there, and then it was the first show, and then we came back for that VIP experience and the second show. Mm-hmm. Hooray! Mm-hmm. East meets West, you know, we've been promoting it for the last couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm, it was a pretty cool event, you know? Mm-hmm. Lots uh, of interesting <clears throat> things to do. Performances were great. Uh, of course. The, the checkies seems like everyone really enjoyed them. Yeah. Uh, we did some. Uh, I have mine over here. How's your experience, Mr. Box, getting checkies for the first time with idols? Uh, oh, is cool. this your first it... idol checkie experience, my dude? It is. Ooh, okay. Do tell. <laughs> uh, it was interesting. Well, since I've met them before, mm. uh, it was interesting well, seeing yeah, how, that was how, more how of different... a professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. professional. Meeting. Yeah, yeah. This is like as a fan, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 with one of them, there was still a little bit more professionalism than the other. The other one was pool fishing. Um, I know exactly <laughs> which one. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, it, it was definitely interesting. Uh, I think you guys mentioned that it was way longer than it usually is. Right? Yes, because what happened there was there was only like one person From taking the, management the photos. Mm hmm. For like five girls, mm-hmm. and so, so, so it's a little would... bit more of service, I guess, compared to what you would usually get, maybe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was like normally it'd be like someone telling you there the whole time, telling you, "All right, your time's up. Next person." Yeah, right. Like the the length of your talking to her would be how fast she would sign the checky mm. for you, right? That's yeah, usually yeah, yeah. when you would talk. Like, you would go up to the idol, look at the camera, take the photo. Uh, you know, she gives you the little thing, and then... Mm-hmm. Yeah, while well, it's waiting to, to dry, and then she can sign it, she's like, oh, so, uh, you know, uh, how do you exactly. find out about us? Oh, mm-hmm. oh okay, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you so much, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, you know, okay, enjoy the show tonight, and then that's, like, pretty much it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. But this was, like, get ready to converse dude yeah yeah <laughs> like like I, I was expecting it to be fast so like when i got this one it was like all right here, here's a picture and then she starts signing it and, she, and then she stops and she just starts talking to me i'm like oh, okay i guess i guess we're having a conversation now and then oh. the next one there was no signature but but she she just like got it and she was like drying it and she set it down and, and then just like even put her arm on the on the bar that was next to it and we just started talking hey there, yeah, dude. okay so so what you doing my, <laughs> My yeah, during my my uh, checky with uh, Risaki from Necroma, mm-hmm. we're like you know it's like in front of the stage right where they're mm-hmm. where they're doing it. Mm-hmm. I remember this point where while we're both talking, we both kind of leaned against the stage. <laughs> That's the same thing with, with my yeah yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> and I remember having this thought like, oh wow, this is like we're just <laughs> talking right yeah, now. Yeah yeah yeah. I know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think it was a definite experience that if you guys didn't go, then. Next time this happens, you guys should definitely go. Because mm-hmm. even that alone is worth it. But going to see awesome performances, very close and intimate with them, seeing how good they are, I think is really yeah, really different than I think what you would get over there. Yeah, yeah. Also, the VIP thing was before mm-hmm. the live. You know, in Japan, it usually happens after. The mm-hmm. bupan, mm-hmm. right? You buy goods. Yeah, in, yeah, in exchange, yeah. like depending on how much you spend, like one thousand yen or whatever, that would be one checky. Or if mm-hmm. you spend two thousand yen, it'd be like a different type of checky kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a, it a little different, but they mm-hmm. still try to keep like the 
same kind of atmosphere or like the idea that you would uh, like you would experience seeing them in Japan mm-hmm. kind of thing so it was cool mm-hmm. for sure alright how would you rate your handshake experience 1 out of 10 boy or 10 like from 1 to 10 scale handshake I was a checky no. oh you're checky my bad I would give it a 10 it was good um, it's in my wallet. I can check it, take it out. So I got one with a Necroma member, also oh, with a. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get mine too. <laughs> uh, member from oh, Yana Koto Soto Mute here. Mm-hmm. Here's mine. So I went to see uh, Imaizumi Rei, because she is the most idol like. Um, and I uh, I was wearing a Kiaki Zaka shirt, and she was like, "Oh shoot." That's Kiki's I was like, uh, yeah, do you like them? And she's like, yes. And, like, her Oshi is the same as mine. So that's why it's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, it. Oh, also, sure. our conversation was quite long. Uh, was yours, long- yours was longer than ours, right? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I, I, uh, so what happened was, like, we started talking about Risa, right? Mm-hmm. And then the their management, Ricky, he was just sitting like he was just standing there with like the camera like, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> so like we turn like oh shoot my bad, and then we take the photo. But then she she still has to sign it right. So mm-hmm. talked about some other things here and there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. And then the other one, I would say a good eight. Mm. Ooh. With, How uh, much did the, did the hair the, impact um, the score? The, the the hair was the majority of it. <laughs> she was cool. Uh, yeah, just kind of. I didn't know anything about him, so yeah, so yeah, yeah. Wasn't like I can just start talking about politics or whatever. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Donald Trump with Dortomo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty normal. I uh, I was able to carry. I'm not care, but like I, I was able to use my limited Japanese the mm. whole time. Mm. See, for without, me, it was without they any were able likes. to use their limited English. Mm. See, I was I was gonna say the the takeaway phrase for me after this was Nihongo Gambara Nakcha, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't I didn't get a Nihongo Jozu. Mm. I don't think I did, but I did I, I get one, a question but... of, oh, have you studied Japanese? Mm. So, I'll take it. I'd, I'd take it if it was me. Jimmy, you want to show yours off? Oh, yeah. So, uh, here are my two. I got mine with the same per- people as Josh did. I told him before who my like, was, and then, look, and then he went ahead and took pictures with them. Look, I, I have no recollection of that, <laughs> but that's fine. Either way, you know, I was just gonna say I would. I was about to compliment you on your taste. Oh, okay. I was. Gonna, I was gonna do the same thing right now, but then you said <laughs> that. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, stay away from them. I don't want them to go on hiatus. <laughs> like uh, what is it? I had. A, I know. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't like them too much, or else it's it's GG, dude. But uh, yeah. With uh, Risaki, we talked about Nick. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it's just because, like, uh, during the... Because we shot a video with them the day before, and we're like, oh, hey, yeah, we're Slope Club. You know, you guys did the live stream on our channel with uh, mm-hmm. Nick and stuff. So she's like, oh, so how did you uh, how did you meet Nick? I'm like, I was not prepared to mm-hmm. answer this question <laughs> in Japanese. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, I think I, I think I did okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we had a... Uh, it, was, it was good. You know, we talked... Uh, like I said, it was, yeah, it was a lot longer than, we th- than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like... It starts out with the usual stuff, like, oh, the live yesterday was so good. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to tonight's live. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, thank you so much, you know? I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be supporting you from now on. Oh, okay. And then we still talk. Yeah, so yeah, still talking like, afterwards. So, well, looks, uh, like, looks like I have to bring up topics now. She's yeah, like, yeah. oh, so how did, you, how did you meet Nick? Yeah. For me, it wasn't like, oh, shit, this is going longer than I thought. I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, please, someone save me by getting in line. <laughs> It just it felt like comfortable, like, mm. that we could like just keep chatting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah. You know, so 
It wasn't bad. It was just, yeah, like, she, she did a really good job of, like, keeping it blowing. It was just, like, a lot longer than what I was, like, expecting, you mm-hmm. know? And then, I mean, uh, like, you could have cut it off yourself. And like, ja. <laughs> ja. Yeah. Just right when, the, when she signs it. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I saw some people where they were just like, oh, thank you. And then they just, like, walk away and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, well, shit, dude. I guess they have, you know, they didn't know Japanese or, like, they didn't really want to talk to her. I don't know, but. Or maybe they didn't know. They were just there like, oh, I'm just going to get in and walk away. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's different, I guess. But, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they see someone else for a long time. Oh, man, why didn't I stay for a long time? That's yeah, when you bad. spend that's another 10 bucks yeah, and yeah. get back in line, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. But uh-huh. anyway, yeah, that was uh, it was pretty fun. The, the live was yeah. cool. We shot some video. We did some uh, games, games and whatnot, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look out for those videos coming mm-hmm. on the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Keep- but um, yeah, what what else? Um, how's that book back there, boy? Oh, the book. I see. I see a little. I see a little edgy kid in a leather jacket. <laughs> oh. This book is really good. Look if at that coiffed Zaki hair, fan, dude. You must buy this book. <laughs> There's so many good photos, because they're doing like the oh cool or sweet, and then there's mm. like. You know, towards the back, there's like all the cool photos with Techi and stuff. But I will show you the best photo in this book right now. Best sneak peek. Mm-hmm. Everyone, make your guesses. Yeah, make make your guesses in the chat. Ah, here it is. Ready? Oh, oh who guessed <laughs> it? <laughs> who guessed it? <laughs> Never would have guessed, dude. No, I sh- this one was quite good too. No, uh, show them the Saikyo no glow up. <laughs> <laughs> Saikyo no glow up. Let me flip to the page real quick. Uh, yeah, there's there's really good stuff here. Um, it's half like magazine, half you know. Photo book, right? Oh, okay, it's one of those. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mm. Damn, what a what a lady! Look at her. I know, dude. Went from being a Wow. A little a little derp, dude. A little not a me to a not a me. <laughs> <laughs> what a lady. But yeah, pick this up. It's good. You get a free bag, too. It's more mm-hmm. like a uh, satchel, really. A small one. But it's not that plastic bag. There it's not, right? yeah. I think if you buy from another place. Oh. Uh, anyway. Go pick it up. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Now. Also someone asked in the chat, um, any more hot wings in the future? <laughs> any more hot wings in the future? Perhaps. Perhaps. And Jimmy already answered yes. <laughs> okay. The then. short answer is yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's all. That's all we'll say. Okay. Uh, so now that's out of the way. Can we get to some of the current events? We can. All right. Mm-hmm. But before that, it's the shilling segment. Because mm. we need our sponsorships. So, yeah. Please. Mm-hmm. Jimmy? You know, money's hard to come by, as, as we, we, we've come to discuss uh, working on this show. That's why we got to do this shilling segment every week. But, uh, you know, whenever it comes to uh, our finances, there's no one that I can trust more than... Uh, Nana Junana Ginko, dude. Mm. 77 Bank. The f- sponsors for our girl, Nogizaka46. They're uh, featured in a little uh, ad with them doing some rockabilly stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cute. You know, mm-hmm. they're singing in English and stuff. Mm. Sometimes uh, I can't understand what they're saying. Yeah, for some no, yeah <laughs> I can't understand either. But hey, we got Eto Misa. Mm-hmm. We got Shirai Shimai, mm-hmm. Saito Asuka, we got Akimoto Manatsu, and mm-hmm. Matsumura Sayuri. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cute. Yeah. Right? It's very, mm-hmm. it's very uh, focused on the singing and dancing, yeah, more yeah, than yeah. like actually showing off the product. Yeah, it has course. nothing to do with, uh, with banks. Um, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But uh, it's got a nice like pop art feel kind of it to it, right? Oh, uh-huh. oh wow! Um, okay, it's, uh, 
Yeah, that's it's cute. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a bank dude, promoting yeah. like. That's the only way to promote interest, it, right? if, <laughs> whatever. And you know, I don't know anything about banks. I mean, yeah. if you saw a bank, if you saw that commercial, why wouldn't you be like, "Huh, I kind of want to bank there now." I would Guess it's look time into to open it. a Japanese line of credit, dude. <laughs> I'd look into it, but you know, if if it is not for me, then I'm not going to sign get up. An- but if you get a Nogizaka card, ooh, that's, why don't they do that? Why don't they make like a Nogizaka card? You see, there you go. Yeah, dude. Every time you like go to like pay for a meal, you just whoop, should I see my dude? Oh, like, oh, there we go. You know this guy got money, <laughs> or, or or at least like like the purple one and like a triangle or something. Mm. Mm. Right? Yes, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. I'd enjoy that one. There you go, Nana June Nana. Bank. Ginko. Ginko. All right. Uh, some ideas, free ideas over here. We got some more uh, products here mm-hmm. to shill. Right, mm-hmm. Jimmy, um, if you would. Um, you know, now that we're working and uh, meeting idols and doing this show every week, you know, uh, ap- appearances are important, mm. right? Um, while they may not be an accurate statement of who you are as a person, you know, first impressions are important, you know. Uh, and so when we need to look our best, we always trust maquillage. Mm. Yes. Especially, <laughs> especially with their new uh, brown colored mm-hmm. eyeshadow, which mm-hmm. you can see in the commercial because Shiraishi Mai is in the commercial. Yes, she's been regularly a image person, model, I guess, for maquillage because of her stunning beauty. Mm. <laughs> so, because that's that's what's doing it, right? The maquillage. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's not the fact that it's Shiraishi Mai. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's some new brown color. It adds it. It's like a buff. <laughs> it's uh yeah. The enhancements here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but you can't buff what's already maxed out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude! Already level one hundred, dude. <laughs> level one hundred, idol, dude. Ninety nine strength, dude. Ninety nine constitution. Yeah. Fuck. Um, I'm, yeah, you know, she looks great. I think yeah. a lot of Mayan fans are just like people in general mm-hmm. <laughs> like Fair this enough. uh these set of uh commercials and ads and whatnot and it's, they're like damn mm-hmm. look at how pretty she is mm-hmm. <laughs> i mean like real talk the, the the makeup itself does look very nice in this music it does, in this music, it does. Uh, the commercial i mean mm-hmm. obviously that's the, the point of the commercial but yeah you, know, you get you get a nice the like a, like a, the, the subtle glitter in the uh the eyeshadow is nice. Um, mm-hmm. I see a lot of uh, people doing that trend lately, and a lot of times it looks very overdone. Mm. Right? It's like, okay, bitch, it just looks like you went to a strip club and you just rubbed <laughs> your eyes in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but this is yeah, it's subtle, right? It's like very fine sparkle, and it's yeah, mm. it looks. Yeah, yeah, so if you good. want, if you don't want to look like like a stripper, buy maquillage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, I think your use of the actual product. Has a lot to do with it, right? Like, mm, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, the very like n- no makeup, makeup or whatever. They, oh yeah, they yeah, like, to like do. the the naked look, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Thank you, Mayan, so, for th- thank you, Mayan, the, thank you, maquillage. The beauty. Mm. Um, all right, we got we some one. more uh, products. Mm-hmm. Jimmy. Uh, okay. Um, you know, continuing on with uh, trying to look our best. You know, um, nothing is a good indicator of uh, how how well you treat yourself. Like the health of your hair, mm. whether it be the softness, the volume. Uh, you know, we can always trust Aga Hair Clinic to give us the best treatment. <laughs> I need this shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, our girl Neru Nagahama mm-hmm. is in a commercial campaign to promote, you know, the whatever package you can buy. It's like a treatment thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. monthly maybe. I don't know. The commercial's pretty funny though. She's like mm-hmm. walking around this narrow street, 
but she's like this big block of like mm-hmm. whatever. She's just the, knocking the, everything the, over. Yeah, and she's like bumping into people. But yeah. it's really cute. I don't know. Little children trying to get around her, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Mm-hmm. She bumps into this dude and rips off part of his afro. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that is it right there uh-huh. and the faces she makes and everything yeah, this commercial like, is worth watching ah. uh-huh. yeah um thank you Nero. I guess mm-hmm. thank you Nero. and I don't, uh I have no idea what like what she has to do with this at all it's not I like mean, she's losing hair is she well it's showing off how good her hair is that she yeah, advertises yeah, yeah. for it like in the website it's like you know primarily targeted for to men right um, but you know maybe Nero she's our bald who knows I don't know. yeah maybe maybe it's more like a oh if you want a Nero in your life get beautiful hair go mm-hmm. to Aga hair clinic mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's quite funny I, I like just a little face cut out right <laughs> yeah it's pretty pretty good yeah recommend watching that one mm-hmm but that is it for uh, the Shilling Corner, um, Aga Hair okay. Clinic, Maquillage, uh, and Nana Junior, Nana Bank. Mm-hmm. We'll be in touch. Yes. Please slide into our DMs yes. or our bits. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Uh-huh. All right. Now for some current events. We have some, <laughs> um, we have some news from No Yoshimoto Zaka 46, the youngest Sakamichi series mm-hmm. group. I was wondering why Jimmy was making the, the crying noises, and then I realized it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, this is the, the collab with Yoshimoto Zaka and Aki P. And we've been following this audition for mm-hmm. a bit now, and they've finally chosen their first generation? Yes. Or their final members? I don't know what to call it, but yeah, they... Uh, uh, they took 46 members. More than we expected. The main. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, 46, I guess. That's Yoshimoto Zaka 46, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But the most important one. Ripopo made it. There we go. <laughs> yes. Good shit, Ripopo. Oops. Uh, the uh, next most important one. The other X, ex- other group. Hold on, let's talk about Repopo first. (laughs) Good job, Repopo. There was no doubt that she would not get through this, right? She Uh, can finally eat. Get get some work, Repopo. Good job. Mm -hmm. Eating more than just salt onigiri, dude. Uh Mm -hmm. And so... uh, uh, Takano Yui as well, right? Also also from the the same uh, other group. Other leopard print group. Yes, if you go to the website, there's a list of them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Takano Yui has made it through. Mm-hmm. Ripopo made it through. Got mm-hmm. Some interesting characters here. We got uh, that lady who is always ranked first with the votes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saito from Trendy Angel. Mm-hmm. His partner, Takashi, Takashi. also got through. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, for, I'm waiting for that unit song. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She's just trendy angels. <laughs> yeah. What are, what are we gonna call this unit, dude? Mm. So yeah, they announced the centers. I want eight point six second bazooka guys in there too. Oh yes, yeah. remember oh, I, those heard... guys? Choto mate. Choto mate oni. Oni. Oni-san. Oni-san. Oh. But yeah, they also they also announced that the the quote, heard stories centers about for now, I guess, will be Saito uh-huh. and this other comedian mm-hmm. uh, oh look who's in the background in the picture Ogawa Haruna yep um, I don't know what they're gonna do for now it's, it's... are they gonna be like the de- like for the song centers right that's the only thing I imagine yeah or maybe they'll they'll be like the face for now of Yoshimoto mm-hmm. Zaka mm-hmm. Um, but if you go back to that list um, yes it feels like something's missing there Some, there's a void in the lineup there's not only a void in the lineup there's a there's a void in all of our hearts <laughs> because our boy oh. masa didn't make it 
See, this this is why. This Muscle. is why I said I don't follow auditions. <laughs> Muscle to make. Everyone, moment of silence for Masa. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he we gave propose a, uh, glow too strong, dude. <laughs> Took his shine away. No one, no one even noticed him anymore. He gave me a little uh, message on his Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, ah, yeah, it's Kuyashi des. He says right here. Mm. Yeah, dude, Watashi mo Kuyashi, dude. You are... mm. Damn. He's he too good for this, dude. You know, I mean, if you got trendy Angel Center, they're like, oh no, we can't have. Masa here stealing Overpowering, his shine, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Overpowering him. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, we didn't make it. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll keep an eye out for whatever they're going to do with this uh, Yeah. This group now. Now that we have members, it's official. Yeah, there's some mm-hmm. notable funny people in there. You know, we got some former idols. Mm-hmm. Uh, some comedians, some talents. Comedians, some dancers. Mm-hmm. Some um, foreign members. Yeah, some various, various uh, skills and talents in the lineup. Mm-hmm. So, pretty Should be interesting. It, it feels, it, you know how like LDH has people that, that do everything and yeah. then they can, they constantly collaborate with each other. Mm-hmm. It would be interesting to see like that happen with this, right? Yeah. You know, like, um. Yeah, like you, you have the music video, so you have like maybe like an idol part, like the the performance unit, you know. But then you'll have like the people that focus specifically on the dancing. Mm, so like little groups like, of different. Oh things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you know, like they're not gonna have the parkour people, but I don't know, you know, maybe they'll have. I'm just trying to figure out what they're gonna do with this, dude. But, yeah, uh, it's yeah, uh, and interesting, interesting to see. Yeah. Hopefully, the TV show is not following people who are auditioning anymore it will become like them actually doing stuff which Mm -hmm. should be funny considering they're all like talented yeah they at least least have experience in some other thing Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right yeah so it should be interesting now i'm just waiting for the two hosts and and they're just waving at the cameras as it goes by (laughs) right right they're gonna gonna (laughs) mc their own show dude right like any of these like uh manzai pairings are able to MC shows. Could MC an idol show. You know? Maybe it should be the centers. Mm. And, then they, they, and then every time it's a new center, they swap out and that person becomes the, the host. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting, definitely. Mm-hmm. But we got some more audition news, guys. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of results, the result for the Sakamichi-wide auditions uh, have been announced. Out of 100,000-plus entrants, we made it down to 38 officially joining the group, or the various groups. Yes. Um, so if there's 38, and there's three groups, like 12? No, like 12 and two extra for each group? Yeah, but I doubt they're going to split it evenly. So, so yeah. how is it, it going to work? Like, who needs the most members right now? No one. <laughs> no one, really. Um, I think All they're right. fine. That's why Kanji's going to take, like, two. Hiragana, maybe one. <laughs> Everyone else and then the, the other 35 are going to go to... <laughs> so this is going to be really weird, right? Because uh, mm-hmm. even if they split evenly... And it's Adam, still a lot, yeah. It's going to be like the most each of those groups will have so far. In a, in a generation, right? right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it could also be... Maybe they're not doing what we're expecting at all. Maybe they're not going to join the group right away. True. You know what I mean? It could be like a, like a King like Kusei a Neta, type like thing. Like a Neta situation where they have to make a new group in order to let her join. No, 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 well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe they're gonna be more of like a, an understudy talent pool, you know, like uh, how Idol Street has a bunch of girls that haven't debuted yet. Uh, I, I know, like, mm-hmm. was it Hello Project has uh, their 
Kenshusei. Kenshusei's, right? And then AKB or 48 Group has Kenkyusei. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe it's, maybe this is well, gonna I mean, be. In, in Nogi, they have Kenkyusei until they become like part of the actual group with under members and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but maybe this is gonna be like a Sakamichi wide thing. You know oh, okay. I mean? Yeah. Kind of like how like like how Idol Street how Idol Street does it. You know. Yeah. I I'm not saying it is. I'm just like they like, just pl- they just pluck them out when they need them or what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm a, just I'm saying this is possible. It's mm-hmm. a it's a it's a farming. Uh, yeah. Thing you know, like Johnny's, they do this all. Like their system is, really, mm. you know, old and you know popular. You know, Hello Project has that. Um, mm. The other group, kind. Uh, yeah, I guess it's not a whole pool. It's not a. Yeah, pool but they still for, perform with them and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like it's not a pool for all of Forty Eight Group, but it's, mm-hmm. yeah. like, well, yeah, because like because each, each Forty Eight Group has a teams. But before they joined, they're just King Kusei, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that makes sense. Because um, yeah. I, I don't know, I just yeah, I feel like thirty eight is still way too much to divide amongst three groups uh, that don't really need it, right? Like, yeah. the, does Kanji really need more girls? Mm-hmm. I mean, if anyone else, anyone else planning to graduate, then maybe they do. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's. Usually it's like when the time comes. Yeah. Maybe they're, maybe they're pre-planning. Maybe they already know. They already know some graduations, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe also for Nogizaka, right? Um, uh-huh. Every year there's at least there's a there's a few Nogizaka graduations. Mm-hmm. Now. You know. um, mm-hmm. So what? There's gonna be a fourth gen, a second gen, and a third gen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but maybe yeah, like instead of like how Nogizaka does like. The big generation, right? Like, like a whole class worth of generations is like maybe if, you know, like introducing a few girls at a time, every every year or something like that, or not every year, but you know when the need arises. I joined than, Nogizaka, but, but I had to wait a year to to actually be part of the group. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that maybe that, that's what they haven't said that they joined any of the groups yet. You mm-hmm. know, so that's what yeah, I'm they saying, said maybe, those were the selected ones, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so maybe that's why I'm, you know, like I was saying, I'm just conjecturing. I have no. Yeah, basis yeah, yeah, to believe this. Just, yeah, we're yeah just... maybe it's like a, a pool of girls that like okay we need some girls in kanji now let's look through the ones that we've accepted through the rounds of auditions and see you know but mm-hmm. we'll see uh wait um let's look at some of these girls man 16 made it through yes thank you you know who didn't make it through 16 15 dude <sighs> 15 I try should, to I game the system and mm-hmm. they're like no bitch how dare you? Uh, people on Discord, on our Discord, were cheering for number 18. 18. And number 18 made it, so congratulations, everyone on Discord. All right, Discord. Um, how, how mad do you think 15 was? He was like, okay, 13. 14. No, no 15, but she was already out. She was already oh, it wasn't in order. 15 yeah, got yeah. kicked out. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's right, because she... She was already she was double dipping. under... Yeah. 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 An oh, agency, group, but right. she didn't and tell them she was auditioning for this. She didn't tell either, yeah. And she didn't tell Sakamichi series that she's, audi- uh, she was. She's from part. another group, yeah. 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 So, or like, not group, but another agency. Nope. Um, mm-hmm. Also, the other fifty nine who used to be in the other group, <laughs> back at it again. Mm. Uh, is she gonna is she gonna quit early this time too, or is she gonna stick around? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe yeah. she secretly wanted Sakamichi the whole time. She's like, oh, I like this group way better. I'm going to quit that one and join. Well, she's just, well, she's just moving her way up, dude. She's like, mm. okay. And then, there, and then Hello Project's going to have an audition. <laughs> and then she's going to leave. She's going like, okay, to leave here. for Hello Project. Ooh, Hello Project's tough, dude. They pick like two girls per audition and stuff. It's very uh, com- it's competitive. Throat, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. You know, they've had auditions where they didn't pick anyone. It right. happened twice already, I think. So, um, 59 is American. Mm. She's fluent in English. Come on, baby, America. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. They'll probably announce more stuff soon when the actual official announcements from Nogizaka and Kiyakizaka come. Mm-hmm. We, will, we will know for sure because right now there's really nothing. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, we have some um, articles from, like, Nikon Sports, uh, but it's not, like, very detailed. It's just like, oh, look at these members uh, got through the showroom mm. audition mm. thingy. But they kind of did that with, like, third gen. 
and Hiragana, where they're just kind of like, all right, these are the rankings, and then like a couple of months after, they're like, oh, here are the members. Yeah, well, like there was nothing since, leading up to it. Since they picked more, I guess thirty-eight. They're probably like, you know, internal. Like, Hopefully they do like a process. All right, captains, take your take your picks. Ooh, oh. that captain's draft, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh dang, dude. <laughs> we just need two people. Thank you. I I'm interested in uh, number fifty eight. Fifty eight. She is she is the oldest one of the one that made it, dude. Oh really? How old is? She? Twenty years old. Oh, it's it's that's the oldest one. Sixteen's like nineteen years old. Eighteen. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm, far. yeah, there's a few 19 year olds in there, but I'm just saying, dude, I, you know, it's still kind of rare these days to see like people coming into idol groups at, you know, 20, um, the, like, like 10 girls who didn't show their face on showroom made it through. Oh, that's, right. that's uh, pretty surprising to me. Yeah. And a couple who number did, 58 who is one of them, dude. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Some of the old ladies, dude. It's like, oh, I don't want, I want them seeing my wrinkles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a twist. She's actually 58. <laughs> oh, ooh. I'll definitely owe she her, dude. I'm into that. Mm. Oh, give me back that old Tona 48, dude. I miss it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we'll see what's up. There's some cute girls in there. Mm, definitely. What if, you know... like Just waiting girls, for that glow up. That some of the get. girls that didn't show their face are, like, friggin' beautiful, dude. Like, uh-huh. whoa. That, what did that happen with? Surprise. It's bizarre, right? Mizawa? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't follow that. This is. I, I'm actually I think following Uma, I think this. Mizawa didn't didn't follow her face. Didn't show oh, her really? Face. Yeah. This is the closest I've followed an audition mm-hmm. <laughs> from Sakamichi series. Mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, I I controlled myself and tried not to get too invested, only because of the curse. I I don't even trust myself, guys. Mm-hmm. I don't trust myself to follow one of them yet, dude. The second I Oshi it's gonna be like. Uh, you know what? There was just some uh, contractual obligations. I wasn't able my, to do. My my mom didn't want me to do this. After <laughs> oh, all. dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna narrow a girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's still in. That's true. But uh, yeah, we'll see what's what's up with these results. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, sixteen and fifty nine go through. They're my picks. So I don't I don't even have picks. So that's oh, how. Oh, look at this guy, man. No, it's because there's too many for me. Like maybe these thirty eight. Like, if they do, like, another thing with them, then I'll follow it. But I before, I'm not going to follow 80 people. It would be cool if they do do something to mm-hmm. generate all this hype, you know? Yeah. Maybe have them together and mm. kind of do a more traditional, like, following this idol audition, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. we will see. Let us keep going with more current events. There are more visuals. Whoa, sorry. There are more visuals uh, for the Madoka Magica stage play, right? It's a stage yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that Hiragana is starring in. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little like uh, video digest of the cast. Jesus Christ, this video. They look so different. I can't even tell. You know what it looks like? It looks like what accidentally happened to the footage that I shot from, uh... Oh, no. Don't don't spoil it. (laughs) It always spoil it. It's just like, oh, man, dude. It is this So washed out, dude. Uh, Uh, That's probably, like, just a... Because it's the photo lights and stuff. You you can recognize some of them. Some of them look look, look the same. But then some of them, I'm just like... Is that her? Yeah, Yeah. um... Like, Kyonko doesn't look like Kyonko. Yeah, yeah. Like on the on the photo, I was like, "Who is this?" And then Nibu too. Yeah, um, Nibu Nibu looks kind of different. Um, Nibu looks pretty different. Katoshi Bemi Hose, Hose is super cute. Bemi Hose is cute. Mm. She's like got the hood and the goggles. Uh, mm. uh, Kakizaki, especially I think, looks really. Even though like I already know it's her because we already went through like hers was one of the first photos that came mm-hmm. out, but. I think she's one of the ones that look really different. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't look different, but uh, I really like the look on uh, Mire. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, you can instantly know it's her, but it's yeah. still a good look, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, don't know much about Madoka, so I can't say anything else. But Same yeah. here. 
Why is my Twitter in Japanese now? Um, so, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. That's the most, like, different they've looked out of any of the Sakamichi groups. Right? Mm -hmm. At least, like, with the Nogizaka Sailor Moon thing, I was like, okay, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Mizuk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, come on. I recognize her voice. But this one, it's like, I couldn't even tell it's Kyonko, and she's my favorite Hiragana member. <laughs> Mm. What have you done to her? <laughs> you know? it's, it's the makeup, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makeup's too strong. And if you want makeup yourself, you can get maquillage. Maquillage. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, keeping it going here. Mm. Ambivalent. Kanji's new single. About. About what, man? Is uh, yeah. number one on the weekly Oricon. Uh, it made a debut at number one. A to no good one's job. surprise. Mm -hmm. However, a little bit lower than Garasu Ware. Oh, so it has the same as Nogizaka, where it was a little lower too. Yeah, it is the first time, I guess, maybe uh -huh. for both groups where it like. It went. It went back down. Yeah. Uh, for yeah, for, for the Nogizaka, daily. Yeah. Uh -huh. For the daily. For daily. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it looks like Ambivalent will sell more than. Garasu Oware at the end of the week. Oh, okay. Um, so Ain't overall, no decline, you know? yeah, overall more than. Uh, Are people just not rushing to buy it first day anymore? Or what? Could be. I don't know. Um, I know. I know, like with streaming and things like that now too. Maybe people mm. just don't like. Oh, I'll get to it when I when I when I feel like it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only really the you know people who want to go handshakes probably. Mm. Mm. They're the ones buying the copies, but for us, the filthy casuals overseas, I ain't trying to buy this single. <laughs> it's on Spotify. Yeah. yeah. I, I normally buy all the singles just to support, but uh, I'm very ambivalent of this no. one. <sighs> so I'll just support them via my personal streaming service, Spotify. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you know for only six ninety nine a month you can <laughs> <laughs> upgrade to premium Spotify? Save yourself uh, some time. Who who likes ad between songs? I know I don't. Oh, but that's with terrible. Spotify premium, you can listen unlimited to whatever you like on the go and want to be able to choose your music? Spotify premium. Uh, that is, please uh, please Mugizaka, send us money, Kiyakizaka, Spotify. Kiyakizaka's that is, on there. That is an ad straight out of <laughs> me <laughs> listening to Kiyakizaka. While not on Spotify Premium. <laughs> oh. It's gotta be that stupid guitar. <laughs> ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, ding. What, Spotify Premium? <laughs> I don't know the ad because I have Spotify Premium. Oh, which you can oh get me oh, too. Oh. That's why I can listen to Ambivalent all oh. I want without just, any interruptions. Just, yep, just have Only it on, on Spotify Premium. Anyway, we can now listen to it because last week we are freaking out because, you know, we couldn't. Mm-hmm. But um they they uh they got it in here. It's in here. Mm-hmm. Now it's there. Listen. Now you can listen to it all you want. You can listen to Higa no Borumare and cry all day oh. long. Ore no imaizumi. Ore no imaizumi. Speaking of to work. Uh huh. And then I was just like <laughs> no, no Don't let anyone come by. Be strong. <laughs> Don't let them see you hurting. <laughs> uh, yeah, speaking of, though, she is releasing a photo book. Hooray. <sighs> Hooray. Let me order it right now. It'll be released October 3rd. To. Photo book was shot in Naples, Italy. Napoli. Where was a... Uh... Oh, that was wrong. Never mind. Napoli. Hmm? Where was that? I was wondering where Bericas was. Bericas was in Greece. Yep. Mm, yeah, it was in Grisha, dude. Uh, but yeah, Zumiko's was shot in Italia. And um, of course, as the trend nowadays, there's a social media accounts um, for the book on Twitter and mm -hmm. Instagram. It is at Zumiko Book. Mm -hmm. And then you can follow it for all the uh, behind the scenes shots, some extra footage and message from Imaizumi and stuff. Look at her looking so cute. We already know that this book is going to be uh, at least a 9 out of 10 off of uh, the first preview image alone, dude. Yep. 
she is mm -hmm. she has a toothbrush in her mouth <clears throat> and for me that is an automatic eight oh. what does she need to do to make it lower than eight or or is that like the the limit if it has a toothbrush well, because I think the quality of the toothbrush image is what makes it very hard to be below an 8. Because it's mm -hmm. a good toothbrush picture. Mm -hmm. Right? If it was just her at a sink, like... Yeah. Like, nah, that's, that's, like, mm. a, that's like a 5 at yeah. most, you know? Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. So the lowest score it can be is an 8. What if, like, all the pictures are super blurry and, like, at, like shutter speed, like, Okay, 10 see, seconds. if, like, if I can't even see her, like, with the toothbrush... Like, that's the then, old, that's, like, there's only 5 good pictures in there, and one of them then, is a toothbrush you know, one. That is, yeah, yeah the, the toothbrush is a big plus. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, why yeah. the uh, Kiaki book is so good, because, yeah, boy, Neru Nagahama. There we <clears> go. Got a Giving the people what they want, dude. Looks like I'm adding that to my cart. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Instagram and Twitter are the same, at Zumiko Book. If you just want photos, Instagram. Got some offshoots. And, you know, of course, if you want more deets, check out the Twitter. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that, guys. I'm I'm making myself sad because I don't have to record like my desktop audio anymore. I have my Zumi song playing <laughs> as I'm going through this Twitter. <laughs> <sighs> but at least she is giving us a parting gift. Before yeah, I go, y'all, here's a goddamn uh, photo book because I don't want to center anything. Goddamn! What an MVP, dude. Mm -hmm. MVP. If, if only. The two graduating members from Nogizaka would have done it. Mm. Missed opportunity for Miyori. Yeah, you know. That he got Noborumare. Whew. The feels. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that one. Should be good. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to pick it up. Because I like I'm already, her. I'm already, it's already in my cart. Ooh. Insert nice. to cart. Um, yeah. Hopefully she does more stuff. Before she actually leaves, I'd like mm -hmm. to see her on Keaki Te Kakenai one Ooh. more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little, like a special episode, you know? Yeah. Let's get a solo adventure. Well, not, not, I don't want just the, you know, the last episode with her. Kind of just show up regularly, kind of, since she's mm. not performing ambivalent. Just, mm -hmm. just do variety show and laugh at Sawabe and stuff. And I'm, I'll, that'll be fine. I'm okay with that. What about girls barbecue, dude? Mm. Saying farewell to Imaizumi, dude. That'd be good, too. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, got some more social media accounts, though. This mm. time, from Neru. I got to, dude. But for what? Who knows? Mm -hmm. It's at agaru underscore neru for six and it is for the bank thing not bank the uh the hair clinic the hair clinic thing we watched earlier hooray hooray uh but they made these accounts a while ago and so like what is this for you know mm -hmm. and uploading but now photos, we know but now we know mm -hmm. it is just like the shiraishimai hyoketsu thing seems like it's going it's being a trend especially right. with sakumichi girls right because they mm. can't use social media the sns uh -huh. kinshi uh -huh. so this is the only way and people want it it's it's the only way to you know get the follows right um you know the neru insta account already has a hundred thousand followers damn um, twitter i don't know man i, I, I never follow these yeah, you say you never unfollow or follow? I never follow these. You so don't follow just... the Chiraishimai one? No, because I don't know. Just I don't know. there's something about like knowing that it's a promotion thing, and not actually hers. It's just like. But I mean, that's how what? some other idols are. It's just the manager posting stuff. I I know, but like at least I have the illusion, <laughs> right? Like or I don't mm. know. It's I'll just like. I'll just take any Mayan content I can. Mm. Have. Mm. If it's more photos of her, then... Oh, well, whoops, my bad. If it's more photos oh, wow. of her, I'm, like, down with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Like, like, how long? These. How long are they gonna keep these going? I think that the Maya one just ended, right? Yeah, I guess as long as the promotional uh, thing. As long as the contract is. That same. Yeah, yeah. That Very product goes, you know. Mm. I, I think Mayans is about to end. I think I read something like that. Mm. Well. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you know, it's probably better if you follow the photo book accounts, right? They, they, those just keep going. No, oh, until like it comes out and a little oh, after it. Right? Especially passports. Oh yeah. <laughs> that they keep updating it because they keep selling more copies more of the damn book. Like what the heck? What are they at now? Like three hundred seventy thousand? It's no, it's at three hundred twenty thousand. They they just did a new reprint at three twenty. So mm -hmm. you know the highest selling photo book ever in Japan. I know, right? Who's, who's like second? <laughs> Nero's gotten pretty high too. It's uh, yeah. It's almost at two hundred k, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder how much Amazing is gonna get. Right. To to go back to it, you know, Agaru mm -hmm. underscore Nero for six. Yeah, Mayans almost has enough to give one to everybody on Iceland. Oof. Oh. Iceland. Yeah, dude. Let well, them we're, experience we're Southern California, now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so what else is, is next? More current events. Um, I have ordered the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, Techi will uh, make a an appearance uh, on Shabikuri 7. To the surprise of many of her fans, because yeah, it looks super cute. You know, she's mm -hmm. she's out there with Kitagawa Keiko, gonna promote Hibiki, her new movie that she is starring in. Mm -hmm. um, the, the episode will broadcast September a third. Um, you know, Shabikuri Seven is a really fun show. Yeah, um, I like to watch it, even though uh, my you know I don't understand. Uh, a lot of Japanese, but they make it easy to understand because it's like half very like physical and like you can just tell what's Contextually. happening. Contextually, yeah, because it's funny and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's also very entertaining. Uh, and Techi looks like she's having some fun. She's making, so smiley, that's best dude. Techi. making fun of the the OG San, dude. Oh, dude, I, I see. It's the it's finally the the long lost return of Hirate Tomorina, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this is Hirate Yurina, like the the full name person. This is not Techi, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's not with Keakizaka, you know. Mm -hmm. So look at her, so happy, dude. Yeah, um, of course Hibiki coming out soon. Mm-hmm. That's what this promotion is for, right? That's what yeah. she's on it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, yeah. Kitagawa Keiko is also in the movie. That's why they're there together. Mm. Um, and yeah, there's also some Hibiki GIFs you can download from GIF Magazine, which is kind of interesting, right? What is this? It's just a website with a bunch of GIFs. GIFs huh? It's kind of like, I want to compare it to like Imager or whatever. Or like Jifki Cat, but this is mm. like official. And official, stuff. yeah. Oh, so it's like officially uploaded. Yeah, if you go to the main website, um, there's like movies, you know, or like comics. It's like, like it's not fans or like people who clipped out stuff. Mm. Mm. I see some slaps in there. I see some kicks. Yeah, which is kind of pretty interesting. Yeah, oh. just just so weird that of all the the uh, other Kiaki Zaka members who go on this show, it'd be uh, Iguchi Mao, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> that glow up, dude. <laughs> Iguchi Mao. <laughs> oh, that Kitagawa man. Keiko, dude. <laughs> dude. Like, look at these photos and tell me Iguchi Mao doesn't kind of look like her there's a resemblance there somewhere yeah right? yeah yeah yeah. am i right right oh my god keiko's so good though 
Like the one in the the white shirt with the black trim, especially. I'm like, oh yo, what's Iguchi Mao doing there? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> okay, cool, dude. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Out of all the girls <laughs> from Kiyakizaka to accompany Techi. Iguchi Mao, dude. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't know if Kiyakizaka was in this, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Uh, but speaking of some guest appearances, um, mm. your girls, Mayan, yes. will mm. be making a guest appearance on a detective police drama, Zetai Reido, on Fuji yes. TV. Zetai Reido so, is like a fairly, uh, not really old, but it was like, early 2000s anyway it's been like a long time since the last season and it's mm. made a return mm-hmm. this season and so yeah. it's episodic i imagine right yes as every japanese drama is uh, there's usually like some underlying plot that like solves in the last two episodes mm-hmm. like very disappointingly i used <laughs> oh. to watch a lot of japanese dramas and it's like the same almost every time. It's all about the journey, right? Yeah, it's all about the journey. Uh, the endings never. It, it doesn't really pay off, you know. Oh, yeah. that's like ninety percent of animes, dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, I guess, I don't know, the Japanese way of storytelling. Yeah. Right, but um, yeah, Mayan's gonna be in an episode mm-hmm. of that drama. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we 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 saw those pictures release of her in the wedding dress, right? Mm-hmm. With mm-hmm. the guns, uh, I told you guys I'd be sending you invites soon. That was. But what I meant was invites to go watch Z Tyrado. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, she looks she looks good at least. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Z looks a little too fake, but uh. no no idea what the context is, but well, it's okay. I mean, like that's like guns are big. Thing, right like because you can't own guns in japan so mm-hmm. like for a assuming like private citizen character that mayan is playing it's like yo how'd she get that gun uh-huh. that's she must must have gone through some, some means to obtain yeah. it mm. and that's probably the case for this episode what if she's the detective oh who knows? or is there always like a main character detective no, there is a main character always. Oh. Maybe so she's, she's from another precinct. Oh, who knows? Oh, it's that kind of thing where like, oh, okay. she's like their suspect, but it ends up that she was like undercover or something, right? She's like, oh, it's like you, you guys, blew my cover. yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, yeah. it all Ooh. up. Ooh. Maybe I don't watch the drama, but yeah, we... it airs on Mondays at nine. So the next episode will be on the twenty seventh. That's the episode Mayan's gonna be on. Um, and it's the the Monday nine o'clock slot is one of like the bigger slots. Oh, in that Japanese prime television. time, dude. Yeah. So the, the article is like, oh, Mayan's first uh, prime time. You know, no, yeah, like nine o'clock prime time appearance kind of thing. Mm. So pretty good. Maybe I'll watch it without any context of what's happening throughout the whole season. And I, I think most people, most people are gonna watch it like that. Uh, I'll just watch the scenes, but that she's in it. Uh, she's what in is it. what is happening? Right? <laughs> she got a wedding dress. She has a gun. What? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the current events. Ooh. Ooh. So so, what time is it, boy? It's time for the variety. TV show roundup. Yeehaw! Damn. Mm. What do we got this week? The usual shows. Hiragana Oshi. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kiakite Kakenai. Mm-hmm. And Nogizaka Koji Chu. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And so, in Hiragana Oshi, we're continuing the first gen versus second gen Undo Undo Ryo Ryoku Battle. Battle. Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Mm. The first game for this episode is the Limbo Battle. Kind mm. of, not really. It's like they're standing on the platform. 
and it yeah, moves just across, but it's more like staff on the other side pulling a rope. Mm. It's not as fancy as that one show that Suda the conveyor Akari, belt? Yeah, the like, conveyor yeah, belt yeah, yeah. one. That the girl from the other group that's from America did. Mm-hmm. 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 But anyway, uh, you know, there there are four four girls from each team. First gen has Iguchi, Kitagawa mm-hmm. Keiko, Mao, uh, Sasaku, Higashimura, Mei, and Ushio. Um, mm. you know, they're talking like, oh, you, Sasaku, you're kind of tall. How how you doing the limbo? Like, ah, oh, you know, I, I know how to do the limbo. Like the dance, you know? We do the limbo yeah. dance during practice and lessons and stuff. Okay, but she's like, yo, you should, yeah, you should do the lessons instead. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, Higashimura? Girl can bend down to five centimeters. Oh, yeah, five centimeters. That is <laughs> He's like, the fuck low. are you talking about? <laughs> she's like, yo, is this true? She's like, word. <laughs> yeah. Like, but when they no. did the limbo, though, she was the one. Like, she was pretty. she was their MVP, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, second gen team has Hamagish, Marmo, mm. Matsuda, and Nibu. Um, Hamagish is so weird because she's all, like all shy and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's How cute. is this girl an idol? You know, a bunch of hiragana girls did ballet, and like, oh, how much she did ballet too, right? She's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. And then everyone's like, what? Yes, she did. She's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the heck? Uh, but yeah, each team gets two chances to clear the height. Uh, they start at like 120, but mm. uh, second gen fails at 100. Um,. Then, you know, like, first-gen win automatically because they cleared mm. 100. Mm-hmm. So they try to keep going. Let's see how, how low they can clear. And they cleared 80. Mm-hmm. And they Which deem that like, it is okay. That's fine. It's like Kasuga's, like, crotch, right? Mm. It's funny because uh, they're losing balance a lot because you know, it's just people pulling a rope. that. Yeah, so it's, they I, stutter. Right? Yeah, they, they stutter. I think that's why uh, second-gen mm. failed 100 because... Mm. It wasn't like a smooth conveyor belt. The way Mana Mu felt was so weird. Dude. Yeah, right? She like fell backwards, but she like caught herself with her head on the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. And so she just full on just sloped backwards. It's it like was... some like wrestling. Like... <laughs> yeah. She's just hanging out there talking like normal, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and then, and then who, who was behind her? Someone was behind her and then she almost like like fell on her. <laughs> like, uh, it was yeah, Matsuda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was Matsuda, like, that, yeah. that could have been. That could have been. That yeah. could have been a little dangerous. So yeah, second gen, they just lost their balance and fell. They didn't even mm. touch the bar, right? Yeah, they just fell over. Mm. Um, but uh, the next game was the the hanging battle once again that they had from the last episode. Um, this time, first gen had Ushio, Takamoto, and Katosh. Yeah, I have, well, I have no idea why they did this again. Because they was hype. I guess they liked it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, second gen, uh, Kanemura, Paripichan, and Matsuda. And then Ushio showing off her skills. Mm-hmm. She like spins on the bar and she does it like backwards too. Like, <laughs> like oh shit. Uh, I remember in, in Nogichu how Higuchi tried to do this but she failed. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she was oh, like, oh, yeah. this is my special talent. <laughs> she like, she like, no, no, I got this, I got this, I got this. <laughs> no, no, wait, I got this, I got this. She couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, uh, first gen wins. Despite Katoshi like screaming like she was going to fall. <laughs> right. Uh, all of second gen fell before she did mm-hmm. like a boss so first gen in the lead by quite a bit mm-hmm. now the next game is the uh what do you call the pushing your hands the, it's the they call it a sumo right but over here what is it called in english uh, I, I never know. i never seen it before like watching variety shows well you know you try to push each other and if you lose your balance you lose Anyway, we got some pairings. Paripichan defeats Kakizaki Memi. Mm-hmm. I like how she was like super solid the whole time. <laughs> the whole she did the uh, she, like Memi uh, lost herself, right? Cause she like mm-hmm. pushed yeah, too yeah, far yeah. and she like fell over. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sasami beat Kawata Hina. It was a pretty long one, like mm-hmm. two minutes, just like. Mm-hmm. Which is like, okay, it took two minutes, here's the end result. Yeah. Um, and then Katoshi beats Bemiho 
after being really weird and like throwing up their hands. And like, yeah, the this was the best like one, dude. Yeah, because they like yeah. lost balance the same way, yeah. and then they like recalibrated and caught themselves yeah. the same way. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that was pretty fun. There's only three matches though, pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at the very end, it is the is the game that always ends the first gen versus second gen. Right? They did this earlier in Hiragana Oshi. Mm-hmm. Um, so first gen is is way ahead mm-hmm. they have like 70 points more than second yeah, gen like, but then it was like 180 to 60 or yeah. something, something like, or 130 mm-hmm. I don't know something ridiculous yeah and second gen was like uh, can we get like 100 million points if we can? yeah because I think first they said one score that would have that, that would have been on top and then like can we just get like this much yeah like okay what about we make this worth 100 points right mm-hmm. so that way you you know they still have a chance like oh, mm-hmm. what about 100 million dude uh-huh. <laughs> and so like you know they're like first gen please give us this many points if we win and first just like oh, I watch. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like stop it with this gag <laughs> that stupid pattern dude uh, and so each team get two chances or two challenges and they will take the top uh, mm-hmm. points I guess or out and as many as they can uh, second gen missing a few people so Kasuga subbing in just like he did earlier uh, in earlier episodes so first gen their first attempt was 24 second attempt 42 but second gen first attempt was 36 mm-hmm. and second attempt was 46 Ooh. the magic number dude what is this raked they've won mm-hmm. again <laughs> I, uh, you you know like everyone probably thinks that at this point right like rigged um, got, yeah. gotta have them clutched at the end dude yeah so, so that's like the variety way mm-hmm. yeah no, nothing mattered until the very well, not, end. not the clutch but yeah but then the fact that second gen just this is the time that they just pull it out and, and finally win right but you know it wasn't Kasuga Kasuga was was cool he held his ground you know he didn't trip on any and the rope and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, second yeah, gen dude. wins. They get the pudding. Yeah, Bemi Ho's like, oh, okay. I think we can, we we get along. We can get along with Kasuga now, dude. Right. He's like, oh, what? This is what it takes, right. dude. <laughs> yeah, and at the very end, they do a performance of Oida Natsu no whatever that song is called. Yeah, there dude. you go. Mm-hmm. You're gonna. So, yeah. So. Uh, you notice, like, I feel, I feel like they're kind of giving Bemiho the leadership role for second gen. Yes. Right. I think it's because so, uh, she was kind of most, like, vocal, vocal and kind of... and, like, physically active and stuff yeah. like that. And she mm. was captain of a of base, basketball team, right? This is true. So she's got the leadership experience, dude. Mm-hmm. Girl comes with credentials. Mm-hmm. Too bad, Jimmy. <sighs> Jimmy. Oh, that's why, dude. I gotta, I gotta support... Nibu, dude. Not everyone can appreciate and see her charms like I do. Mm-hmm. And so, let's move on to more Keiaki Zaka. Keiaki Tekakenai. This time is the report from Keiaki Republic. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. I enjoy these kinds of behind the scenes and like backstage look at mm-hmm. concerts because that's the kind of thing we never see. Mm-hmm. You know, um, they're also releasing last year's Kiaki Republic as a DVD Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. So Did that come out want, already, or is it coming out? See, uh, I'm not sure, but so, yeah, if you want to see backstage stuff from from that, that's probably even more detail. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kiaki Republic Republic this year was two days, and so mm-hmm. on day one they had some There's reports from Fu Chan. Three days. Three days. Yeah. Three days. They just showed the first. They just day. yeah okay. Uh, Fuchan and Nijika they had the the camera and so they were like going around showing stuff and they showed the ice shaved ice machine like look this shit is so popular everyone you know is eating all the shaved ice and they go up mm. to Nen like Nen you probably ate the most didn't you it's like nah I'm second nah homie uh, who's first then oh probably Nako dude like oh that makes sense <laughs> of course who else would it be um, and so sh- it shows Sawabe show up before they go on. And mm-hmm. then he also brought Sunshine Ikazaki. 
Mm-hmm. Screaming at everyone? Yay. And he, like, screams at Ozak, dude, like, in front of her face. <laughs> She's just like... Um, and, and he brought them some... Some gifts. Some, some yeah. okonomiyaki, okonomiyaki sandwiches. Sandals. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, I'll put this at the back. Like, if you take one, make sure you do a gag to the camera and stuff, because it'll be mm-hmm. cool. They're like, okay. And they have some uchiwa too, and he has like bacon, bacon, or like bacon, justice, yeah. the mm-hmm. Ikazaki's gag thing. It's like, yeah, so like, if you see it, you better make sure you you do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, whatever, old man. <laughs> okay, the dude Kaneda from Hanya was also there. He's he's a Yoshimoto Zaka member now. Oh, oh do you gotta see his his senpai? His senpai. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he do radio shows with like Koike and stuff? There is a Mom. radio show that Kanji mm. does with him. I think it's mm. rotating, but anyway, uh, and it shows a digest of some of the performances. They opened with Abunakashi Keikaku on the first day, and like all the soap and water. Mm. Looks so fun, dude! Mm. Like especially at the seats yeah, by dude. the stage. We're like, dude, we we have to go, and we gotta treat this like, like a freaking like any other music festival, <laughs> dude. Short shorts and stringer tanks Let's all day, go. dude. Let's go. Yep. Um, you know, like they, they had like the soap cannon thingies. That you just like, mm-hmm. and they had like the r- remotes for whatever. Uh, yeah, dude. It oh, it looks so lit, dude. Yeah, I was just yeah. like, I was laying in bed. I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> I'm just laying down over here. Why am I? Oh, yeah. Why am I not at Kyaki Republic? Yeah, Fuji Q, dude, getting getting turned up to some Abu Nakashi K coffee, dude. It's like, it's like so perfect, right? Because it's like hella hot in Japan, <laughs> so mm-hmm. in the middle of summer and stuff. Yeah, so let's so, get some uh, soap on our eyes, right? Yeah. I'm sure it's like the same stuff they use when they have like bubble parties at clubs yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's gonna hurt. Like you have like the the pain-free baby soap. It's like mm. the same kind of yeah. bubbles and stuff. They also yeah, had... Uh, he's the wrong one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> get me on the crowd. <laughs> Burns. Uh, yeah, they had like water cannons too. It was pretty mm. cool. Uh, during bathroom travel, Koike sees the Uchiwa and she's like... Mm. like oh, look, Koike. Good job. Uh-huh. And it cuts to where they p- grab the Okonomiyaki sandwiches. Mm-hmm. And they do gags in front of the camera. There was like a group of them like okay what should we do as a gag i don't know let's just like scream and go up to the table where all the sandwiches are and take them and leave <laughs> so that's what they did uh-huh yeah hiragana members come in like hey watch hiragana oshi because they do the shudon that oh, kasuga does yeah. <laughs> and then um it's funny how even she went up but they like ignored her completely and then she's like oh let's look at this kanji kyaki member ignore the person in the back Mm, oh yeah, 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 wasn't that part of the gag? It was Uguchi, Iguchi and someone else, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm, but then Iguchi was still doing it. They cut away from her. Oh, <laughs> rip! Oranana just takes one. Oh yeah, she like runs up. They're like, ah, oh, you like, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this girl, man. She always does this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, and then Takase took the last one. And of course, she also promotes. Mm-hmm. Here, Dana. Oh, she. Um, at the end of the day, they do a barbecue and it's all wholesome and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, nice uh, little montage. Like a group of them like go out to where the audience would sit and like they're looking at the stage. Mm-hmm. Shows the barbecue. They had like the the thing <sighs> where, where the noodle goes down a slide. Of yeah, the down, soba the, down the soba yeah, thing. Dude. Yeah, it looked pretty. Dude, cool. It was so wholesome, dude. My my heart was so warmed watching that, dude. I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, look at my. Sweet girls, dude. I love them so much. Even when even when they're being so stupid. <laughs> um, and then the rest of the episode was another day. Some uh, report by the captains. Mm-hmm. Going out to the seats. And they, they show the... What, whatever, the thing you hang so that there won't be rain. rain. Oh, the uh, Tera Tera Bozu. Yeah, because it looked yeah. cloudy, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, what else happened? Tsuchi comes, and he brings them some candy. Mm-hmm. Oh, teru teru, yeah. And he's like, uh, "Are you all wearing your sunscreen?" Good. <laughs> it's like everyone's good. Okay. And he just leaves. 
Uh, He's like, oh, I brought some food too, but uh, we already got enough like, gag shit. We don't need this, so uh, <laughs> just eat it. Yeah, and then um, they they do a performance digest. It shows like a few of the songs mm -hmm. that they uh, perform. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then a full performance of Ambivalent. That was the first time it was shown, right? It was the first performance they had too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the choreography still looks really chaotic. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what to feel. I'm pretty ambivalent about it. That's the whole theme. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, at the end, they show more backstage stuff, just them being cute and silly and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a good episode. I like watching these kinds of episodes. Mm -hmm. I like how Nagasawa was like, I I've eaten like fifteen of these cups. So I'm gonna go get more later. Oh, the the ice, <laughs> the, shaved ice the shaved ice. Yeah, ice. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah that's the end of the episode and so the last TV show is Nogizaka Kojichu mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think it's been a while since I laughed this hard at an episode uh, on, honestly Banana Man carried this episode uh -huh. they, were, they were really yeah, funny yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like oh you give your shit you don't want to Himura right? but then he gives you shit he doesn't want yeah, yeah. It's so like you a little trade, trade. Right, he's like, oh, you know, you guys gave him presents for his birthday, but some of them he doesn't really want. Yeah. He keeps mm -hmm. the the pillow he got from Momoko in his <laughs> in car. In his car, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, the first uh, trade, I guess, from Nishino. She got, like, this fitness hula hoop that's in parts just to put it mm. together. It's like, I got these because I wanted to get some abs and stuff, but then, like, when I put it together, it's too big to use in my house. So, uh, like, I used it once, and then that's it. Like, Jimmy, okay. do you agree? Hula hoops helps you get abs? Um, n yes and no. No in the sense that you can't spot train. You can't train a specific part of your body and then think you'll only lose fat there. That's not how mm -hmm. fat loss works. You have to lose fat everywhere. But, uh... I'm I sure mean, Nana you'll, say has no the fat. The cardio... Yeah, exactly. The cardio <laughs> is good. Uh-huh. You know, so yes, in that sense, but it's like you can go for a run and get just as an effective workout for your abs, dude. I'm sure if she does some sit ups and whatnot, she'll get abs and no. Yeah, time. exactly. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah. just pop out. There's like nothing hiding what she has, uh -huh. right? So, yeah, so uh, she has like 10 and she's good. So, like, the Himura's item that he wants to give away is like this weird wooden Humpty Dumpty looking thing. Yeah. He's like, oh, I picked uh -huh. this up in Malaysia. It looked kind of cool, so I, yeah. I got it. Looks, yeah. It has like no like... arms. And... I think it's freaky, dude. Like, <laughs> it's all the eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's yeah. It, I don't know. It has like such a unique look to it, you know. Mm -hmm. But like, if I were to wake up in the middle of the night, and that thing were sitting on my <laughs> desk, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's not into kind of weird stuff, right? Mm -hmm. She thought it was like, oh, it kind of looks like Doya-san. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's like, uh, like, okay, I guess she like takes it reluctantly. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's yeah, cute. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, I, I brought this for you because it makes me think of like something you'd like. And she's like, oh, I, I'm so happy for yeah, the yeah. thought. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I guess thanks. And yeah, so trade is made. Mm -hmm. Next is Shirais, and she has a rice cooker. Exactly <laughs> what you thought she'd bring. Uh -huh. and they're like, oh my god. This is because <laughs> you bought a new one on the show, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, and, and they're like, oh, so how long have you had this? It's like, uh, I don't know, like four or five years. Mm -hmm. And then she thought it was like <laughs> trying to spin it to Hebra, like, yo, you know, like all the hard work, the mm -hmm. rice she made it from this rice cooker, you know. It's like, think of the the dedication and like the hard work that she put in and shit like that and he's like oh okay and so <laughs> just, um, just sell it be like this is shiraishi mai's rice cooker she had of <laughs> right like his item is a framed photo of himself the reverse <laughs> yeah, troll right? so good dude <laughs> and yeah, then she yeah, was like yo what is this like coming uh, of age is like oh yeah yeah because <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing like the full like um i don't know what it's called but like the uh traditional mm -hmm. clothes right mm -hmm. yeah. this is actually on, on a tv show and they're like uh, I, yeah, saw, yeah, exactly. I saw this episode like like when he did that photo shoot and like when I saw this oh I instantly recognized it uh, yeah yeah they mentioned like oh yeah we had to do a thing for another show mm -hmm. and then you know last time you gave me 
a framed picture of yourself. <laughs> so here you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> what a uh, it's, uh, it's a good trade, I guess. Uh, yeah. Right? I got a framed photo of you. Uh, a... yeah. yeah. You just didn't sign it, I guess, right? You need to sign it. Yeah, you can, she, mm. could, she could ask after, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the next person was Yoder's. Yoriyuki is is a wig. And uh, it's like, yeah, um, you know, last year at Halloween at a handshake event, I cosplayed Blue Zone Chiemi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as she's like explaining this stuff, Kaz sneezes. <laughs> but like she tries to play it off, like, oh, uh, she's, like uh-huh. yeah, she's like rubbing her chin. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, dude, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Himura's item was a power strip. <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. What? Like, wait, wait, wait. That, that's not what, that's not the reaction we wanted. <laughs> Why are you guys yeah, so he's excited? So about this? He's like, oh, I'm so happy. He's like, that's not what I wanted, man. Yeah. I would be like, man, what the heck is this, yeah. dude? Yeah. And you know, it's like, man, what the heck is this? <laughs> right? <laughs> so, it was so cute, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. He tries on the wig. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, you look like that dude from last year who infiltrated the oh, in, yeah. <laughs> the tour uh-huh. um yeah but the, the last present mm-hmm. was from higuchi uh, this was the best present and it's <laughs> like the present she like forgot to give for to her friend mm-hmm. and she just had it sitting around mm-hmm. for like a year if and it's been a year <laughs> yeah and it's a set of like you know there's like a necklace and like a keychain mm-hmm. with the a because her friend's name starts with an a it's like mm-hmm. Aya or something like that are you and she was like but you know your wife uh her name also starts with an a right like, <laughs> yeah. totally to, dude. like try Perfect. to spin it and shit like uh yeah. and then like oh let's let's try in this necklace it has like a little mm-hmm. pineapple in it and she like tries to put it on but his neck too tick <laughs> yeah. She looks like she's like strangling him <laughs> with, with the, the wires. wires. <laughs> she's like, it's like, oh, okay, let's put this necklace on you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like dying, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> the best is like the little, because there's like a little pineapple on it, right? Oh, yeah. And then because it's so tight, the pineapple yeah. doesn't dangle. It just like yeah, it just, <laughs> hangs up, dude. Yeah. It's funny because it was over here. It's like, oh, oh, you just got to fix something. Oh, okay. <laughs> just stays like that. So yeah, dumb. Like, oh, you know, if you don't like it, you could just move that pineapple to the back where no one can yeah. see it. Yeah. Like, Yo, that's not the problem here. It's like, oh, it's just a choker. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's like a choker, right? Those yeah. are all really in now. Yeah. Like, oh, he was so like, I'm gonna wear this around people and be like, oh, nice choker. Yeah. Okay. He's like, I don't need this shit, man. Yeah. He was like, oh, is this how it's supposed to fit in your friend? You know, <laughs> like, is this how tight it's supposed to fit? Uh, it was good. It's like, oh, it's such a uh, it's such a good summer look, you know. There's a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> my pineapple, yeah. And then like one of the other, like presents in the in the package was like this little like soap thing, but it's like an ice cream bar. <laughs> so he like he holds it up, like well, this isn't not the summer. <laughs> That's like, what the hell is this, dude? Uh, it's so good with like with the thing. He's just yeah, the pineapple is like on his neck. <laughs> And then, like, he's holding up this ice cream looking thing, and he's just yeah. like, What the hell is this? Oh. Um, but his item for Higuchi is <laughs> Saito Asuka's oh, yeah. <laughs> the clay it just, sculpture it just that she's like coming gave back and forth. <laughs> Dude, my, my only hope and desire is that, like, every time there's like a. A gifting episode uh-huh. or any like like this thing just consistently gets passed around. Dude. It just like makes its it w- rounds through all the Nogizaka members. It, it was already on, on Nogi Bingo once. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one wants that shit. Dude. I know, right? Not even. It's like, oh, it's too sentimental for me to have it. It'd be better if a Nogizaka right? member. Yeah, had it's it. like at least you know if a Nogizaka member can have uh-huh. it, it's much better, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, oh, Higuchi oh, made yeah. that face like, mm, no, I don't want yeah. this at all. Like, <laughs> I don't want this. Uh, but um, next week there's more of the same. Mm-hmm. Get rid of your items. Give it to Himura. You know, one man's trash might be another man's treasure, kind of thing. Because right? they're like, wow, look at everyone's needs are different, you know. Mm-hmm. Except no one really wants that Asuka. Yeah, right. But the thing but... is, none of them can sell it on eBay or anything. 
because then they'll all know that yeah. they sold it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Higuchi sold my shit. <laughs> oh, you're telling me that somebody else with this identical clay statue <laughs> yeah, sold it? Exactly. It's one in a million, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the episode. Uh, uh, they do a performance of Jiko Chude Iko. Mm. And, uh, mm. Your usual. Yeah. Uh, performance worth watch. Um, very cute. Lots mm-hmm. of good expressions in it. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, that is the end. Mm-hmm. Hey. And that's the TV Speaking show around. the end. Mm-hmm. Oh, that by the way, also... if, you, if you guys haven't seen the Instagram, our Instagram, slope.club, uh, there was plenty of stories from East the meets East West. meets West Music Fest, like our journey through it. Mm. So from the very beginning to the very end. Yes. You'll be able Ooh. to see all that happened. Yes. Make sure you follow. We're going to start uploading more photos from stuff Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from that and from different stuff so look Mm -hmm. forward to that so you can follow Mm -hmm. us on twitter either on the podcast or at the official slope club twitter and you can go ahead and subscribe to us on youtube.com slash slope club and follow us on twitch twitch.tv slash slope club for your weekly podcast and more stuff coming up so i hope you guys looking forward to that and look forward to new videos on the youtube channel from east meets west yeah as well as other things that you look forward to as well hey Thank you for watching. And that does it for us. Thank you all for watching and listening. See you next time. Goodbye. Leave your comments.